evening everyone happy saturday or it possibly could be sunday by the time you see this video so then i'll say happy sunday or how about happy weekend because <laughs> me and little miss jada here are doing a late video and that is it just seems like my streak right now this whole week i think i'm doing late videos i can't seem to get these videos done in the morning or at least the afternoon if not the morning so you guys have not seen little miss jada here in so long i know some aunties ask for her sometimes that really love this baby you know they'll ask me about her or when i'm going to do another video with her or something so finally here she is i had planned on doing a video with her for the longest time and every time it's her turn mommy like skips her and goes to another baby <laughs> and it's just so unfair to little miss jada because mommy loves her too so i was like today i'm not gonna skip her she's getting her turn so here we are i'm just seeing if she wants a little of her bottle first before i change her and this time i'm gonna put her in some pajamas and that is something that i hardly put this baby in is pajamas I kind of like her in like dressy clothes most of the time or like outfits and stuff like that. But I have all of these pajamas I bought for her that she's never worn. So I figured today I'm going to try on a set of her pajamas. And her hair is looking so pretty and curly like that wet look because I just um just sprayed it I had it up in a little ponytail but then I fluffed it back out it looks so cute in a little ponytail she has enough hair I left her with enough hair like if I want to pull it all up into one it's long enough but then I just decided to um straighten it back out she didn't drink much of her milk so these are the pajamas that i have out for her it says i whaley love you with this pretty blue whale it's pink and blue hot pink and light pink with this kind of aqua blue color and these are another one of those pajamas from walmart and they I believe they start from size nine months because I never see them any smaller. So they are a nine month size and they always have all different kinds, all different prints and pictures and they're so cute. Easy to put on the baby, comfortable for a real baby as well. I definitely would buy this for a real baby too. And it's nice for summer or winter because it has the little pants. Then it got the little shirt. So I had bought her a few of these. And she's never ever worn them. And the good thing about them is that look at the price. I mean you can't beat that price. So also I'm going to put her in one of these new sleeveless onesies that I bought yesterday in my Carter's haul. And this is the six month size. It's probably going to be a little bit long on her, but I think I've put her in a six months onesie before, if I'm not mistaken. This one is just the three months that she's wearing, and she fits this one also. So the six months definitely is going to fit her a little bit big, but it doesn't matter because it will be under her pajamas. Because this one is looking a little dingy. And I don't like when they start to look dingy. So I have to wash that one. And I did a bunch of baby laundry. Like I think it was last weekend. Because I was cleaning up my nursery. So I had a bunch of laundry for the babies. That I had been sitting. Had it sitting there for a while. And I needed to wash it. 
so I finally went ahead and washed all of it and I was wondering where was all of my onesies and stuff for the babies I'm like what did I do with all of the onesies especially the white onesies I couldn't really find any of them so when I finally did that laundry I found out where all of the onesies was they were all in the dirty clothes <laughs> So now I have a ton of onesies. Plus I bought more onesies. So I'm going to try this size 2 diaper on her. This is the Aiden and Anaya's diapers I bought yesterday. And I just want to see can she fit a size um, 2. She's wearing a size 3 pamper. And I always put her in these size 3 pampers. I had a whole pack of them. And so she's finally running out of them. I have like three of them left and then she'll need another pack of Pampers. This is one of the size three. But I'm just curious to see can she fit this size two and it looks like she can. So that's a good thing because she and the other baby can share these. So that's good. Finally Jada got on a different kind of diaper because all for a year she only had pampers I never did order her any other honest diapers or anything in her size to have some different diapers for this poor baby because she's like the biggest baby I have right now well she was until Emmanuel came and so I hardly would buy like the bigger size diapers because only she was wearing them so she had a whole pack of pampers size 3 and that's what she's been using and finally they're running out and now I have Emmanuel and he probably can fit a size 2 or 3 as well so I probably will get me a size 2 pampers where he can share it with her and the new baby can wear them too because now I don't have any size 2 pampers I don't think so so that'll be something else I eventually get I just like to have different diapers. I get tired of looking at the same ones. So I have tons of disposable diapers of all kinds. And I like different sizes and everything. And if you guys notice, you see how she fit that six months onesie. I just squinched it up just a teeny bit, but she fits it. So that's how these clothes are. You really just have to kind of try them on the baby. Because a lot of times you think it's too big and it's not too big. And these are the nine months PJs, and you can see she's fitting these also. So although they say nine months, they're, they're not all that big. Not really. And what brand is this one? It just says sleepwear. These don't even have a brand. I've had them so long. So the brand, it's not even a brand on these. Now they have them, and they say Wonder Nation. That's their new brand at Walmart. But these I got like last year. So they just say sleep wearing them. They don't even have a brand in these. But I love these pajamas. They just have so many like different pictures on them. Different prints that you can get. Like you can just buy all different ones. But I don't put on pajamas that much. So I don't need that many of them. And I'll see when my new baby girl gets here, can she fit these? Then I probably will use them a little more. And I might buy a little bit more of them because I like the price of them too. They're not that expensive. So that's nice. So that is her little shirt. And what else? I brought her back here. This Passy and her in India, their magnet is the same way. So they can share pacifiers. I like when babies can share pacifiers. And I try to put my baby's magnets the same way. And sometimes I get it right. And then sometimes I don't know what happens. I think I have it right. I'm done. And then the magnet be the wrong way. And I'm like, what happened? <laughs> Somehow I end up putting it the opposite way, the magnet. And then... It doesn't match the baby that I'm trying to match them with when I'm trying to match their magnets. It ends up being the opposite way. So I don't know what I'll be doing wrong, but something gets flipped and it'd be the wrong way. 
so I don't want to really comb her hair I don't really comb her hair out I usually spray it so it gets a little bit more shine and then I just kind of fluff it up and this time I tried to give her some bangs coming straight to the front here and I don't want to re-wet it so that's good enough and this spray in here is basically water where I have mixed mostly water with um, a teeny bit of downy. So it smells really good, but it's not very strong. And it has just a little bit of downy with the water in there. And I will tend to spray that more on my vinyl reborns, not so much my silicone babies. If I use that for the silicone babies, I usually just pour it or spray it rather onto their brush not actually spraying it on the silicone baby but I'll take a little chance with the reborns and spray it so she is all dressed she is good mommy finally gave her some time changed her and I love her little feet out. So I was looking for something where she could have feet out. I have some other pajamas like the sleepers with the feet in. But I love this baby's feet. So I like to have her feet out all the time. Only during the winter does she get socks or tights and shoes and stuff. Most of the time her feet are out. So we are gonna have this shadow issue. <laughs> But that is her in her pajamas. Little Miss Jada. And Jada, I don't know if I said it, but she is Gabby Gale by Claire Taylor. And she was reborn by me. Um, I painted her, rooted her last year um, in May. So she's over a year old now that I've had this little baby. And I just love her. She's one of those that is a keeper in the nursery. Like, I don't really think too much to let go of her or sell her. I've had many people wanting to buy this baby so many times. But I don't really want to let go of her. She's kind of a special baby for me because I love the Gabby Gale kit. And I painted her last year and she was one of those first babies when I first started painting so she's one of my first babies that I painted I want to say she was probably like the fifth baby I painted or the sixth baby and I did two Gabby Gales at that time I did an open eye Gabby Gale and then her the sleeping Gabby Gale and my daughter Brianna has the open eyed Gabby Gale so I actually still have both of them in the nursery um, and she's definitely one of those that I hold on to. She's not perfect either. She has things that I look at her and I know now I could have done better, <laughs> but I still will not just will not, you know, let go of her. Um, I would say the only way I could think of letting go of this baby, if it came to it, was if I ever could get a silicone Gabby Gale. That's the only way I would even dare think of letting go of this one. And who knows, I might would get a silicone one and still want to hold on to this baby. Because like I said, she was one of the first that I reborn and rooted and everything. But anyway, I just wanted to make sure I changed her this evening. And there she is for those aunties out there that love this baby. And sometimes you guys be asking me, where is she? <laughs> so here she is all changed this Saturday evening. Oh, and also before I forget, the video that I put up yesterday with my shopping haul and everything got... um what do you call it a copyright flag or whatever because there was music playing in the carter store when i was in there and i didn't pay any attention to it it's in the video and copyrighted material you can't have it on your video without i don't even know the procedure when you put songs on your video where it's copyrighted but anyway youtube told me that i could leave it on there and it was fine it wasn't a strike and blah 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 but i just took that video down 
and took the songs out of it, the copyrighted songs, and put just my own songs from the editor that I use. And so if you guys are wondering that saw it and you had commented and then you wondered what happened to your comments, that's why I had to take down the first video and then I re-uploaded it, you know, uploaded that video. So some of you guys comments, I don't even know if I got to see them if they were under the first video I had put up. So the video up now, that's the second one I re-uploaded just in case you might be wondering. So anyway, guys, that is all for now. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.